Welcome back to An Organized Mind. I'm your host, Linda Clevenger, and I am with Paul Gustafson, the CTO, the Chief Technical Officer of Simventions, which is a, a techni technology company located in Fredericksburg. And uh, I just love the stories that you shared before that. That was, that was, uh, that was interesting. And, and I, the other thing that I really like about Simventions is your, your tagline because so many companies can take your tagline and actually just minute, I mean, the words are powerful. Thank you. The words yeah. are powerful. They're imagine, create, explore, and discover. Yeah. How, how did you come up with that? Because that's, a good, that's something that a lot of companies struggle with, a lot of entrepreneurs. Well, you know, my, you know, how, how did you come up with that? Oh, that's great. I, we, we, uh, we're very fortunate to be able to stumble on that phrase and, and nobody else had taken it. So, oh, that's you know, important. So we, we were able to grab that, um, which is good. So yeah, four things, imagine, create, explore, discover. Early on when we sat down and we were like, okay, what, what are we doing? We realized one thing, we had to use our imagination in the first place to figure out you know, what, it is that, what is it that we want to do? Mm -hmm. What is it that we can do? We all develop software. We do modeling and simulation. It takes the imagination to be able to even That's define true. that in your, our mind. Yeah. So there's a lot to imagine. I'm going to come back to that because it's a key, key word. Okay. Right? Then the next part is create. So it's one thing. If you start a company, you know, everybody has a dream, right? Dreams are actually very inexpensive. We all have them. <laughs> They're free. <laughs> They're free. The key is what do you do with it, right? So you can take what you imagine, take your dream, and then you need to move forward, and you've got to create something out of it. Even if you stumble, even if you fall. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. In fact, you want to stumble and fall because that's the only way you're going to learn. Because if it's that easy, then you're not going to be able to be as... as and I've heard you want to do that quick. Well, you, you want to, Maybe. you do, you, you know, fail fast, but, but get back up. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Cause That's sometimes it's easy. I mean, we, there were times where we failed and we're like, I guess we're done. It's like, you know, I was talking about the 1980 uh, winter Olympics and the U S hockey team, you know, they didn't have a perfect uh, period every time, right? They mm -hmm. struggled in some of those games. They didn't get every shot in There were times where they were struggling, but they got back up and they kept fighting through it. And it's the same for you and I and any entrepreneurs that we've got to get back up. So create, yeah, you're going to stumble. And that's where the next part comes, right? Imagine create, explore. So when you stumble, or even if you don't, there's so much to learn through that process of doing. Right. So much to do. So explore that part because then once you do, then you hit that last part, all right? So you discover, all right? Mm -hmm. So once you, once you discover, then you realize, wow, I didn't realize. So, sometimes you're... You go through this process of thinking, you know, I wasn't sure we could do it. I wasn't sure until we actually did. There's a part of us inside every one of us. I think there's a tank of courage in every one of us. We're born with it. And sometimes we neglect to use it and fill it back up. But if we stick with it to the end, then we're going to discover just what we're capable of doing. So, I, yeah. um, so that's, that's why imagine, create, explore, discover. And, you know, I know for, for me, in, even in my in the business and in my personal life, it's what you take from those lessons that yeah. makes the difference. Yeah. Because even when you do stumble, there's a lesson to be learned yes. in that. And it's how you um, perceive that stumble or that fall that allows you to move forward and take that experience to the next level. Yeah. Have you found that true with some mentions as well? Well, it's, it's Or in your personal life, right? Even? Absolutely, because, um, well, a couple of things, right? So imagine, create, explore, discover, and then you think, okay, if, if I get to the end, what do I do? Well, you're not done. You just got to keep doing it. Re right? Rinse and repeat? Right. So if you look at Google, for example, I was thinking about this. Um, Google, their, their mission initially was, hey, let's create the best search engine on the planet. All right? Okay. What if they stopped there, all right? They realized that, hey, wait a minute, there's more for us to imagine, more for us to do. So they went back and said, hey, let's create the next thing. Let's discover some more here. So let, let's go through this exploration process and discover more. And I think that model works for, for us, for every one of us personally as well. Mm -hmm. So, and I love the idea of imagine, right? Because everything is really created twice when you think about it. Because first, you, you, you've got to really think of what's possible. Right. And once you think of what's possible, then you can realize, okay, can, can I take this? Can I move forward with this? Now, I'm a person of faith. So part of my faith is really taking what I imagine and really, really testing that. 
with my <laughs> faith and being able to see if it's if it's possible. I think that's what faith is all, all about too. Right. And your so. faith having your faith allows you to be a bigger dreamer. Yeah. And bigger thinker too. I think it it, it helps you reach out more and not be have limiting thoughts. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, and that's that's just I'm just speaking for myself no, here. I, I, I totally agree. So it's uh, it's important, and it's important not to do it alone. That's you, true. You, you really need a team. I mean, because all of us, <laughs> as I shared earlier, three of us independently wanted to start a business, and then once we shared what we had imagined, what our what our desire was, and we worked together, you know, we we were able to accomplish it. So dreams are meant to be shared. And how, let me ask you, how did you all meet? So we were all at uh, the same company in Dalgren, Virginia, right outside the Naval uh, Sur Surface Warfare Center. <laughs> Easy for me to say. But <laughs> just outside of NSWC Dalgren uh, at, a, at a small company there. And we were developing software. And we realized that uh, we were doing some cool things that had some application beyond just what we were doing. Mm. So we, uh, we began to, to take that capability and against the vision and dream that we had about mm -hmm. being, being in the business and, and and we all shared the same faith too, which is very important and you know and that's um, that's entrepreneurship because working for a company is great yeah. but being able to see your vision and explore and discover and everything that you just talked about mm -hmm. and take that into um, a relationship yeah. and start a company as three entrepreneurs that can work together to do more good. Yeah. I, that's awesome. Well, what's really, yeah, I mean, what's neat is um, this, this concept of sharing what you imagine. Mm -hmm. So if, if you had a beach ball in front of you, you would probably see just three colors of that beach ball, whereas I would see another three sets of colors. And so when you share what you imagine and, and you have the different perspectives of mm -hmm. what you're imagining, then you can start to see against the the mix of the team, all the colors of that beach ball, whereas before you may have only seen a limited uh, side of that beach ball. So yeah, I yeah. I think that's, that's important. That's why sharing sharing your dreams is important. It really is. Yeah, and um, I just love that analogy that you just gave. That's the first time I've kind of heard it that way, but it, it totally makes sense because you have to have a team. Yeah. Doing it alone is not fun. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's so much better when you're working together. Great, great. So stay tuned because we have more to share. We'll be right back. <laughs>